hey guys welcome to my channel and uh, in this video i will be giving a short overview of the armor smith uh, software which is practically used uh, which is mainly used for cosplay so i'm just going to open up armor smith designer and uh, you can get to download it from armor smith of course if you go to the home page here and you can download it from here it will cost you $35 and I would say that it is pretty much worth it. Um, it helps you save time in testing uh, prints. Um, like you could get the right scaling done for your body. That r It really helps to be honest. So uh, I would highly suggest to go to the site initially. And uh, you could also, if you go to the blog section, you could actually see a couple of videos uh which is which covers the basics over here so um i would highly recommend you to go through the website and go through these videos just to get an idea okay so i've got the armor smith opened up here and this is my avatar so initially when you install it for the first time it would actually show you um the ways on how to measure your body parts so since I have already installed it and done that part, um, I guess it's not that. I think if I if I start a new avatar, if I create a new avatar, I think probably those settings might come up again. But I don't need to do that now because I've already put in the measurements here. And on this right side over here, you could see all the measurements. So you could just you can just go ahead and uh, edit it. For example, shoulder width over here. When you click over here, you get the measurements over here. So if I change this to, let's say, 450, now it's in mm, so that's 45 centimeters. And the shoulder, it um, it changed right there. So I'm gonna take it back to 480. Now these measurements are of my body, and yeah, ideally it's not a well-suited um, body. I, I don't have any six packs or anything like that. So my plan is to make um, Iron Man MK50 suit. Um, yeah, so these measurements are for that. I'm gonna have a hard time, or actually I did have a hard time trying to get the suit uh, parts uh, match as much as possible to my body measurements. So keeping that aside, let's go um, with the basic menu over here. This is the standard uh, settings which is found in most of the softwares. So you've got a new one here, open, recent costumes, the ones which you recently worked on, merge, save, save as, import, recent imports. Th these are all the standard ones. And on the avatar, you could actually make changes to your existing avatar over here in terms of poses and stuff not measurements measurements is what you do here so if i click on it, it is on edit measurements so that's the reason why i can change the measurements now if i click on edit pose i could manually change the pose um, of the body parts like for example i can turn my arms i mean not my arms my wrist all the way back i could do a lot of stuff with this change my thigh uh, positions of my feet and stuff I could do a lot of stuff here so th this is pretty useful uh, if you want to use um, any custom positions so I'm going to reset my pose okay the next one you got here is change pose so you've got two default um, positions here one is a T pose and one is a relaxed now this what you see here currently is the relaxed pose and if you want to have the T pose you have the standard T pose here now this is quite um, helpful if you want to get the overall height measurement like for if you scroll down here you got the overall height in my case it is 1885 which is basically 188 centimeters i'm not exactly uh, 188 i'm i think i'm around 181 or two i think it's like five six centimeters has increased um, after putting in the other measurements so i need to figure out uh, over there if there was an option to actually lock this then it would be perfect then i could actually make the changes over here on the other parts 
so that's that um so yeah i'm gonna bring it back to relaxed I, i'm a bit more comfortable working on this pose and then you've got open avatar which is basically if you have an uh, if you have another avatar already saved then you can open that up you can save this avatar um avatar <laughs> and you can also save it as obviously the same function of normal save as custom mesh i'm not exactly sure what this is uh, i tried importing it and it kind of messed it up um uh, okay let, let's try it anyway so i'm going to import uh, it supports only obj and stl file so i don't have any obj so i'm just going to concentrate on stl so i'm just going to go to let's say uh okay i'll go for a helmet um okay let's say upper helmet let's try that so what it does is it will replace the avatar and bring the entire helm oh to shit it looks like a <laughs> it looks like an alien head uh, but yeah um, as you can see it just uh, replaced my avatar i'm not um, able to do anything else with this uh, pretty much so i i don't think i'll be using that feature anyway so i'm just going to reset that custom mesh reset and i'm uh, what the hell okay uh, i think um, the gender has changed for some reason um okay how do i change the okay um so guys even i am learning the software so i'm not an expert in this software yet so i'm also trying to figure out some stuff even though i do um have used most of the features but not some of them like for the custom mesh for example but i uh, how do i get rid of just um uh, just circumference no but it's grayed out the bust is grayed out actually the bust and the under bust it becomes active uh, when you choose uh, the gender so when you start up the software for the first time you get to choose male or female so when you choose a female that's when um, the bust comes in but for some strange reason it kind of um, popped up now already um, guys if you are hearing a lot of noise in the background I'm really sorry because I've got two printers printing right now so it's kind of making noise so I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that it doesn't catch in the mic but yeah okay so I'm going to uh, I don't have any avatar saved create new avatar sure you want to reset your avatar no I don't want to reset my measurements because it took me quite some time to actually get these measurements sorted so I'm not gonna do that I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna close it because it yeah save before exit no so I'm just gonna reopen that again guys i'll tell you one thing the software do have few glitches here and there and uh, it is it it's an amazing software it's got great potential it will help you a lot in cosplay and stuff so um but be wary that you know there are a lot of glitches and stuff which um they've got to fix probably it will come out in the new update so this is the latest update by the way um this is the version 1.3.3.5 um, just recently downloaded and installed okay so I've got that part cleared off um, custom mesh export avatar save pose and load pose you can basically s it's pretty much self-explanatory it will save and load the pose whatever you want it edit has got undo redo undo is pretty much not that um, uh, I'm not happy with that feature I mean this is something that you will definitely use more frequently um, but unfortunately for some reason it's kind of gimmicky it's not working properly um, I don't know okay let me just try bringing in some let me just import something and we can just try it out 